Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and uh, I'm in a little bit of a different location today, and that is because I am at my girlfriend's house. But nevertheless, I picked up a Legendary Collection 5Ds. Uh, basically, the money card is Vanity's Emptiness. Um, I personally don't see this as much of a money set. I might be wrong, I'll look into it. I don't think anything is really worth much of anything other than emptiness. Like I said, I could be wrong. Um, Personally, though, I really would like to pick up a secret Crimson Blader and some secret Trap Stones, because those look really, really good. Secret Debunk also looks really, really good. Um, and there's some... I, I think this set has, like, a really good print on it, from what I've seen so far. Um, it's just been through videos, but they've, they've looked really good. Um, but I guess we'll start with... Oh, I guess... I haven't really looked into, like, I don't even know what the promos are yet. Uh, these Nordic, these new Nordic people. Uh, what is his name? Jormungard or something. I don't know. He looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Like that, he looks pretty dope. And then Fenrir, that's easy to say. <laughs> that's such a contrast. Uh, we got Stardust Flash. I don't even know what this does. Target one Stardust Monster and Gavir, special summon it. That's not terrible, I guess. I think that's a new card. I, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, an Ultra Black Rose Dragon and a Ultra Quasar Dragon. I used to have the real thing. I used to have two of the real things, actually. I used to play Laval Quasars. So, uh, are these all? Yeah, these are all Ultras, so we'll start the Ultra Pile. Uh, and then, of course, it comes with this hard mat. I'm not a huge fan of the hard mats, but, um, I mean, they're better than, like, the paper mats, I guess. Uh, it's got the, uh, three Nordic gods on the back, the original ones, and then it's got these people, which I don't know any of them, because I don't watch, uh, the anime. I watched the original anime, and that was it. Um, I saw a little bit of GX, like, the first few episodes, and was not interested. So, we'll put... This thing is not going to stay flat. Bam, fixed it. One bend, that's all I had to do. And then... There's only five packs. I don't remember things. Yeah, five packs, oh wow. I thought it was more than that. I don't know why. Anyway, so we'll start with this. Uh, this is to do... Yeah, it's like nine cards. That's what it is. So we got that guy. That's the rare Nordic uh, Relic Gungrir. This is our Ultra. There's a lot of Nordic cards I noticed, um, which it kind of like is weird to me. Uh, I just I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense because that's what was going on in the anime or whatever. But uh, it's just not a really good sales pitch. Uh, there's another Nordic Relic. Hedgeguard is our ultra. Drill Warrior for the secret. And Ro oh yeah, I forgot about this. Rose Archer is a good card. I'm glad it got a reprint as a super. Um, because that is, uh, I, I don't know, I think it looks really good as a super, first of all. Like, just the way they make, like, just the background the super. I really like that. Hopefully, oh, there's a common Veiler. That's something, I guess. Level Eater. Mistworm, Unknown Synchron as the secret, and who, who's this guy? Earthbound, Earthbound Immortal Kakapatu, I don't know, something. So I guess we'll put Baylor over there because he counts as something. I think, I don't know, I only assume Baylor, a common Baylor still has some kind of word. I also assume he isn't too hard, or too easy to pull. To pay some black wing dude. Oh yay! I got my crimson blader. Look how beautiful that looks. Like that's just the secret is really really dope looking. Uh, and a shooting star dragon for my super. Oh, and a bunch of black wing stuff. Yeah, there's just like the the abundance of cards is not good. Ancient fairy dragon. Uh, so this is my last pack by the way. Turret -tur warrior, black wing dude. And a crappy formula synchron as my secret. And a majestic star dragon for my super. Well, did not pull 
any of the cards I wanted except for Crimson Blader. But I did not realize that it was only five packs. So um, I would say that I definitely did not get my money's worth. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, I was not expecting to unless I pulled a Vanities. Um, these Ultras... Mistworm might be worth something? And... that I mean, the promos aren't going to be worth anything. Rares aren't going to be worth anything. Uh, Crimson Blader probably isn't worth anything, but it's cool to have. Just because it... For, Crimson Blader is a strong card. It's a really good card. And he just... I was so upset when they printed him as a rare, I knew he deserved something better. They printed him in super, and now he finally gets justice with this beautiful secret. Uh, Formula Synchron, Unknown Synchron, Drill Warrior, and the Verg is uh, not going to be worth anything because those aren't any good. Uh, I guess probably the best one is Formula. Uh, these super rares, I don't even know any of them. Oh yeah, I got Rose Archer, I did want that. I uh, just forgot about it because it is kind of irrelevant. Um, so let me know what you think about this set, um, maybe you had better luck than I did. I did hear someone actually, uh, when I was buying this from, uh, from Parallel Worlds, um, somebody was telling me that someone pulled two Vanities Emptiness out of one box. I was like, that's, uh, that's pretty broken, but I don't feel like this is a set, I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy Vanities Emptiness as a secret, because it is, uh, gonna be damn near impossible to be able to pull them. But as always, please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Rarity Hill. Peace out.